was established in 1827. And it was established by Muhammad Ali Nesha. And the first director of the medical school was Antoine Claude B of France. who They brought him from Marseille. And the reason for the beginning of the medical school was to treat the soldiers in Muhammad Ali's armies. And then the first graduation was in 1832. And at the beginning, uh, they did not have medical students. They didn't know who to get as medical students. They thought, we need people who are smart. So they went and they got students from Azhar. And these Azharis became doctors. And because these Azharis could not speak languages, so they would get basically interpreters to Goman, who would come and interpret what the French and the Italian professors were saying into Arabic. And then the student, after the lesson, would recite the lesson, and the interpreter would reinterpret it to the doctor to make sure that he was basically understanding the lesson. Then, in the 1880s, the British took over. And the medical school, instead of becoming uh, more or less French, became an English medical school because the British were in charge, and the dean of the medical school was a British person. So, which brings us to Naguib Besha Mahfouz. And basically, he wanted to become a doctor. And so they moved him to Cairo when he was around 12 years old. And then he finished the baccalaureate quite quickly and entered medical school when he was only 15. And then he graduated from uh, the medical school. At that time, it was not uh, basically affiliated to the university. It was Qasr Naimi Medical School. There was no yet Cairo University. So, so basically he entered the medical school and graduated in 1902 and he was only 20 years old. At that time there was a cholera outbreak in Asyut and he went down to Asyut and this 20 year old medical student was able to find where the cholera had originated from. So he was a very smart person. Uh, after he graduated he was appointed as an anesthesiologist, Dr. Tartir, uh, in Suez. And uh, basically he worked there for several years. During those years, he was assisting um, a British doctor. And he got to see many women who died during labor. And he was saddened by that. And he thought, one day I want to help these women so that they do not die during delivery. <laughs>